Q contest, Lima Zulu 5 Radio, Lima Zulu 5 Radio. Today, Vector Yoni Song calling CQ, CQDX. From Yankee, Ontario, 3, Vector Uniform. Call in the X and buy for the call. Over. Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, whether you're a newcomer to the hobby or a veteran radio expert, one of the things that we all have in common is the need for a good antenna. Now, for those of us that don't have extraordinarily long gardens to install full-size dipoles or large yagis on top of a tower, we have to look at compromise antennas that are smaller in size. Now, there are a few on the market that I've tried, some which work and some which don't. Now, this antenna is one of those antennas that work. This active, meaning powered, HF receive-only antenna has an included signal amplifier designed by LZ1AQ, according to the documentation. Now, the amplifier requires a 12-volt supply, which is fed via the feeder cable. Now, this comes from the included bias T unit, as shown here. Now, on one side, we have an SMA, which connects off to the loop amplifier using the supplied cable. Next to this, we have a DC power input. Now, there's also a status LED which illuminates when DC power is applied, which should be between 5 to 12 volts DC. On the other end, we find an SMA socket labelled RF, which is where you connect your radio receiver or your software-defined radio. Now, what's interesting about this particular receiving loop is that there are three different configurations in which it can be used. Now, to change the mode, you simply adjust the position of the switch on the amplifier and the position of the three switches, which are on the small PCB, which is located at the top of the loop. Now, the manual does clearly show the switch positions for each mode. So, unless you can remember it, it's worth keeping that little manual sheet handy. Now, when we go through the reception testing, I will we'll try all three modes. That's magnetic, electrostatic shield, and Mobius loop, which hopefully we'll find out which of these configurations has the best performance. Now, a couple of neat window mounts are provided, which I will use for this test, but the upper and lower PCBs do actually have mounting holes in them. So potentially you could attach it to a piece of wood or a garden fence, for example. However, there are no enclosures for the amplifier board or the switchboard. So unfortunately, it's not waterproof as it is. So I'll be testing this antenna installed on my shack window, which is on the first floor of my house. So let's go ahead and perform some reception tests across the HF bands and I'll switch the switches to go through each of the modes, which will be highlighted on the screen. Now the first test is the magnetic field loop. Now what's interesting here is that we're receiving hardly anything. As you can see, I'm just going up in frequency from the bottom of HF band up to around 30 megs and more. But there's hardly anything there, which made me wonder is this antenna actually working? Well, it wasn't until I've switched it to the next mode that I realized it is actually working. Comes somebody else. Either one, I would not rate as, you know, this guy is better than that or this person is better than that. Small bottles of diet Sprite. Ava and G seems a bit funny lately, as someone was saying earlier. Uh, they were they were into G last night about half past eleven in the evening, um, when everything was long. So. Right, G, uh, 59, excellent copy. Western Battle Front. Greetings, buddy, New Year, and I'll uh, see you uh, later on uh, other frequency. Thank you, Delta Quebec 23, Yota. Uh, Fox 4 Echo Zulu Julia, thank you. Yes, Stefan, a great pleasure to work you on the second band now, so thank you for the QSO and hope to hear you also on the other band. 73 and a Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Spia, and congratulations uh, for your channel and uh, your working on the band. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye, QRZ, Delta Quebec, 23, Yota. <laughs> Now the receiver that I'm using for these tests is the RSPDX from SDR Play and this has three antenna ports. 
Now you may have noticed that I switched between port A and port C. Well, that's because my outside inferred half-wave antenna is connected to port C. So I was just flicking between port A and C as a quick comparison. Now let's move on to the Mobius loop configuration by setting the switches according to the manual. Boyers for Ksenia Fedyetova, an ally of the jailed Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. Now it's a shame I do not have two of these antennas because if I did I would configure one as a Mobius loop and the other as an electrostatic shield magnetic loop and perform a side by side analysis mainly because there wasn't really much in it. Maybe the Mobius loop appeared to be the best for reception. Well, at least to me it did. Now with indoor antennas like this, you also have to bear in mind that multiple factors can affect performance, such as installation location, nearby metallic objects, even the rotation of the loop could have an impact on reception of certain stations. Now that's not forgetting the current propagation and obviously the time of day in which you're using it. So my final thoughts on this antenna is that for the size and the cost, performance is pretty good. And I would not hesitate to recommend this antenna to any newbies that are coming to the hobby that would like to listen to sub 30 megahertz. Of course, nothing compares to long lengths of wire high up in the air. But if you're just getting started and want to dip your toes in the water, as they say, then installation and cost of this particular antenna is a bit of an advantage. Now, as always, I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to look at this antenna in more details or if you even want to purchase one. Now, if any of you guys have got this type of antenna set up and you're actively using it, let us know down in the comments below how you're getting on with it. Be interesting to see other people's experiences with such a small HF antenna. Anyway, guys, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.